Hey everyone, how's it going? Matthew Bailey here, and welcome to a new playlist on my channel called TV Show Reviews. And today I will be doing my first episode on the first ever season of Total Drama Island. Now, if you look, if you notice, I have numbers everywhere, but the ones that are in color are the main things I'm going to be talking about in this video, and then the ones in white are co-aligned with the number with the same number of each other so so one and one two and two so without further ado let's get into this so for number one what I liked about this sh main show was the host Chris McLean as you can see on the number white one there's a picture of him and he was pure evil when it comes to trying to torture these kids but when he wasn't as evil as one of the main contestants of the show, and that becomes, brings us to number two, which was Heather. And we look under under the number two in white. There's a picture of her, and you kind of can see her in the main picture up here. And boy, was was she evil? She did so many terrible things on that show. She got Eva, who is next to Justin and Lashana in, these, in this picture. She kind of has her hair in a ponytail and, and a blue dress on. She got eliminated second, all because she overreacted over an MP3 player. And then, like someone stole it, and she, Heather technically stole it just to turn her own teammates against her. And she was one of the strongest players of their team. And, but that's not all Heather did. I heard, after watching the show, she did a lot of stuff. She kissed Gwen's boyfriend, Trent. She even read Gwen's diary out to the whole world. Pure evil. And she befriended, she technically, acted like she befriended Beth and Lindsay, which are both at the very end of the picture, on, on each of the ends. Beth's on the right, Lindsay's on the left, with the blue thing on her head. And she was able to get both of them booted on, booted off, ha over halfway through the competition. And speaking of some of the contestants, number three brings us to Love Between Cameras, aka Gwen and Trent. Now, I, I only put Gwen and Trent on here because they were the nicest campers when it comes to being in love. There was another couple, there was... There was Duncan and Courtney, wherever she went. There she is. And, but they didn't last very long. Because even though they were really in love, Harold, who, who was Dun it was the kid um, Duncan bullied while on the show, when he realized they were in love, um, he, he secretly tampered with the votes and got her booted off. And that technically was wrong for elimination. And speak, but after all eliminations, that brings us to number four, the winner of the entire first season, Owen. And here's a picture of him under number four. He was the biggest guy there, camber or camber really, and he was a gassy one too. After all that, he was the winner, and. And I have to say, my overall rating on this show was an 8 out of 10. I loved the show, it's just sometimes there were some characters that didn't really talk that much on the show. I mean, I mean Justin. He was the one who was from most of the beginning of the episodes. But even on the one the episode near the end for the final five, he didn't even talk as much. Now, once I do my review on season two, he did talk a lot in that show, so we're talking about that in a little bit, in the next video at least, but anyways, like I said, these are my main reviews about the first season, the host, me and Chris McClain, the evilest contestant on the show, which was Heather, and the love between two campers, Gwen and Trent, and the winner of the season. I will say that who the winner of the season was is in the second season, so if you haven't seen any of the other seasons after season one, then, yeah, then you might want to watch them before you watch my reviews on them. So, 
Anyways, and if, as always, if you like this episode, hit that like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I will see all of you dudes in the next video.